Samir Marty Walsh joins us here in studio once a month. Thank you for coming back. It's great to be here. We want to start off with marijuana legalization because it's likely going to end up on the ballot yep. in November. You have joined forces with Governor Baker in opposing legalization. Tell us why. We're concerned about the marijuana industry coming here to Massachusetts. And uh, really, when you look at some of the studies from, from Colorado and what's happened in Denver with the increase in, in, the, in the emergency rooms, uh, with the edibles that are out there and young people getting to the edibles and being marketed towards young people we get concerned this isn't about legalization of marijuana it's about creating a new whole new industry in Massachusetts that's what we're really concerned about is, is that industry being created who, who's really the targets and what's the what's the reason for it is there a way though to legalize while also regulating a new national CBS news poll is out it says more than half of Americans say that it's time to legalize we spent billions on the drug war it's not working you've proposed letting bars stay open later in the city why is it different but, from no, it's very, very different first of all marijuana and the marijuana industry is legal illegal in Massachusetts right now and I think it's very different people are trying to make that argument and then people in the press are saying well what's the difference it's it's different it's it, marijuana is illegal it's an illegal drug and, right. and, and and you know and that's something that that's on the books I mean but should it be th there's other things I mean we could have a conversation about do we legalize coke do we le cocaine do we legalize crack do we legalize Heroin? Should we legalize that because because we've lost the drug war? I mean, simply say, we didn't. We haven't lost the drug war. We're going to continue to fight for the drug war. There are there are many kids that are dying. Of, people are dying of overdoses. And by simply saying we lost the drug war, I'm not saying you're saying Mar this. marijuana. There's no such thing as a marijuana overdose. You know, cocaine, heroin. Those are hard substances. I think most of the medical community would agree people, that marijuana people, is not quite as well, bad how, as even how, alcohol. How does how does 30 percent of how do, do we have an increase of 30 percent in the emergency rooms in Colorado if we don't have a problem with marijuana? I mean, this is edibles. It's, it's a proven fact. It's there. I mean, uh, sen a Senate committee went out to Colorado to investigate this. They came back and those findings. And I don't know if anyone saw the findings, but there's there's problems all over the place with that. Here's something that cropped up today about another industry which has a real uh, hot button issue for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. There's a bill uh, at the state legislature which has moved forward which poses a ban on Uber and Lyft yep. operating in and around the convention centers. Uh, the convention center authority itself has said they don't think that's a great idea. It might put people off, might hurt businesses. Where do you stand There's on that? There's still a process way to go. I mean, still, the bill still has to be taken up in the state senate. Uh, I'm assuming the bill in the senate will be different than the bill in the house. There's a conference committee. So there's some aspects of the bill I'd like to see in there. I'd like to see more control by local control for Boston. Uh, we, we control livery services and we control taxis. We regulate them. Uh, and then the bill that went to the house, we don't control. We don't regulate them. Uh, we're the largest city in New England. Uh, we have three million Uber trips a month in the city of Boston, so we want to be able to do regulations of that. The taxi industry says we helped fund the convention they center. Did. We deserve exclusivity around some buildings like that. Do you agree with that general approach, or as a modern city, should we be encouraging Uber? Well, the taxi drivers definitely helped w w w with with the convention center, but also the convention center has helped the taxi industry. So it's kind of gone back and forth. Again, I'm going to wait to see as we go through the legislative process here to see how, what the final bill comes out before I make an opinion on that. One last kind of fun thing. <laughs> on Twitter, it's National Lookalike Day. Yeah. Mm. So they did it to us here at the station. Yeah. We decided to plug your face in. We put you into a Come nap. up with your lookalike. Yeah. I think you'll be pleased. All right. We Let's have see. the we, we have the it? result here. <laughs> Will Ferrell is apparently your oh, doppelganger. God. Oh, God. Now, you know what's so funny? I don't see it. But the apps are just uh, not yeah. that great yet because I put you in. One one gave you Daniel Craig. Yes, well. One gave you Will Ferrell, and I kid you not, one of them gave you Lil Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, years ago, people say I look like uh, Joe Klein from the Boston Celtics. Joe Klein. Oh, that's so exactly right. When I like they that. look it up, they'll see that. Are you as funny as Will Ferrell? That's the question. I don't think anyone really <laughs> as Will Ferrell. That's true. <laughs> We'd have to that's agree with that. There it is again, the side by side. Mayor Walsh, thank you as always for joining us. Thank you. Really appreciate it. We appreciate it. Thanks.